yeah, that works. Just like every other vlog starts when I travel, I'm here picking up a rental car in, you guessed it, a minivan to uh, be able to film out of and do all that jazz. Actually, this trip is a little special. This trip, um, I'm out in San Diego, California for the very first time. I've been all over California, but yet to San Diego. I'm out here for a really cool reason. This weekend is Dustin Williams, if you're familiar with him, the YouTuber Dustin Williams, also does film stuff. Anyway, he's out here, he lives out here, he's having an open house for a relaunch of his clothing slash brand, Legends Media. Legends Garage, I'll figure out what the right term is. I'm filming kind of like a little short like I did for Eliminate and Randy and those guys, but for Dustin and his friends uh, and himself and his open house that he's having. So, this is gonna be a really cool weekend. Sorry I'm out of breath, I just lugged couple hundred pounds of suitcases from the airport to the rental car place, which always sucks. I need a roadie. Someone come be an intern. So now I'm gonna head over to Dustin's shop. I might stop and grab a drink or like a snack because it was like a six hour flight and I was a little, little hungry. I got up early and a little hungry. I planned out everything on the flight here. I have notes right now. I have my questions right now. I'm gonna do little interviews um, for uh, for Dustin and Tiana, his girlfriend, and film all his cars and plan everything out pretty much. So I'm gonna go to his shop now, which is about, uh, I haven't GPS it. So I don't know, it's, it's around here somewhere in San Diego. Um, I'm gonna stop and get food or a drink first because I'm really hungry. Um, so, minivan, acquired, Dustin, not yet acquired. Let's go get him, sorry, I'm tired. Uh, there's just some type of good feeling when you first get a rental car in a brand new city for the first time. There's just some, some good feeling that hits you. I don't know what it is, but I love it. Let's do it, let's make some cool shit. Oh, already did a little burnout. Everywhere I go. All right, so we just arrived here, Dustin's shop. By the way, Dustin, solid uh, OG sticker. Should I make more of those? People really like those. Solid stickers. Um, I'm gonna unpack all my gear real quick and throw it inside his warehouse because we're gonna go grab some food. Uh, it's 12.40, I don't know if you could hear, he just started probably the BRZ because it's really loud right now. We're gonna go grab some food and then go over some plans. Why is there a TSA sticker on my thing? I don't know. Uh, we're gonna go grab some food and then go over some plans. I want to shoot some stuff tonight and possibly this afternoon. So we'll go over that stuff now. It's 12:41. I'm gonna figure out what time sunset is. It shouldn't be too late, but we're gonna figure out those plans. Um, I'll show you around Dustin's garage and his cars, which you guys have probably seen if you watch his videos. If not, he has this whole cool like little garage slash um, office space. Um, but he's gonna move all his cars out now because we're gonna take the Evo and go grab, go grab food. But what time is sunset? That's vital. Oh, 725, we're good. Because I want to get some sunset shots, or like before sunset, so like six to seven, probably, and then go into night and dusk shots tonight throughout San Diego. So let me unpack all my stuff in the inside, and then we'll we'll say hi to Dustin and his cars in, in a bit. This case is so heavy. This is the one that has the movie in it and a bunch of other random bits. Uh, no BRZ parking, so just oh, next spot over. You. Thanks, man. Yeah. I wanted to tell you that this is actually like a no filming zone. So. Oh, this whole area? Yeah, this entire complex. No okay, cool, man. I'm just gonna go film uh, somebody else real quick. I'll be back. <laughs> It's a little loud, bud. Yeah, it's kind of shaking everything. Huh. I wonder what's causing all that. Nope, not that. So I haven't really filmed much since I've been here because we've been trying to figure out like our plan and our rough schedule for the entire weekend. So we have a few pages of notes here for the entire weekend. We had to uh, re-look at locations that I figured out that we could use because all the locations that I found were way too far from where I thought we were. 
I screwed up basically, but we found some new locations um, for tonight and for this weekend's shoots. Uh, but for right now, the first thing I'm going to do here with Dustin is go around his office, go around his space, go around his garage, and just grab some basic B-roll to place in uh, the video wherever, have it be like an intro possibly, or just to over the uh, over parts where he's talking on the video, uh, over his interviews or anything like that. Just some general B-roll of his surroundings, places that he's in on a day-to-day -day basis. This isn't going to be exciting, so I'm not really going to show you guys any of this. I'm just going to unpack all my gear. Also, Sam, if you're out there, Sam hates how my Pelican is organized because it's not organized. It's kind of just throw everything in here to fit as much as I can. Um, don't hate me if you're out there and a perfectionist, but this is uh, pretty much everything I need for a weekend. So one thing I always forget to do with this, because I'm still new to the whole red ecosystem, is calibrate or black shade the camera uh, before I go to a new shoot, before I'm on location, before my temperature changes. That's something that I'm slowly learning that you should do. So before I shoot anything here at Dustin's, I'm going to keep my body cap on to be uh, no light at all inside. Everything's tight, everything's locked up, and I'm going to black shade um, the camera just so that way there's no noise or like lit pixels. I've had that happen in a few shoots because I haven't had the time or I just sped through it or I just forgot to black shade. So that's what I'm going to do first. It's going to take a little minute. And while it's doing that, I'll build up like my tripod setup and whatnot because that's what I'm going to go around his office and, and do. If you guys care. Probably don't. Dustin's over there editing a video. I just finished up all my handheld stuff with the 18 to 35 and in here. Uh, I got some cool stuff, uh, but I'm gonna switch to the 24 to 70 now, put it on the gimbal, and then get to our first shoot location with Evo. As long as it doesn't leak cool up everywhere because Sorry. it's a current issue. Can you not in your own fucking office? <laughs> this guy's unbelievable. Okay, so it's now 624. Sunset is at like 725. The sun's already really low, so this is going to be a little bit of a hassle. The movie's all set up, ready to go. My camera bag's there with backup stuff. Walkies are here, ready new walkies. But Dustin is having an issue with his coolant. Uh, it'll leak before. Um, so they're trying to fix that right now as fast as they can. They're just putting in distilled water, I think, right now, just to get the shoot. Um, but, uh, yeah, we might not get sunset shots tonight, so we might have to do this another time. We're here till Monday, so we could probably make something happen. But if not, if we don't really get this, we'll just do some nighttime shots and just do a nighttime feature, because uh, stuff happens sometimes. But they're back there. Trying to fix it. We'll see what happens. So we did find this awesome spot next to the water, next to the beach, and we had like awesome sunlight for a second or two, and then it went behind all those clouds. But we have these two guys, high five, high five each other. Oh, they didn't, losers. Uh, we have these cool clouds that we're working with right now, so no sunlight, but we'll make the best of it. sun and it's not even sunset time yet so we're just gonna go hang out for a little bit at the shop recoup and then go do some nighttime rollers uh so that's what's up little buddies back there all tucked in so the first spot we're gonna try to go in is this park garage Ooh. that's right next to petco field which is the baseball stadium for the padres that play out here uh anthony recommended there's a really loud car behind us sorry Anthony recommends us to use this park garage at the top. There's a nice view of the city. Um, ooh, so we might go. Uh, we might go look to see if that's available. And if it is, we're gonna shoot there, and then we'll move on to other cool spots. Dustin's behind us. That's who's making so much damn noise. This spot's kind of cool. We have uh, some hotels and buildings that surround us, and then Petco Park where the Padres play. Go Mets. Uh, we have Dustin's car parked up here in this little corner spot. I'm just gonna get some shots of him. I have one LED lighting it from the side just to bounce out that LED. And it kind of blends in with the wall lights so it's not that intrusive. And one in the car just lighting up his cage a little bit. A few shots from here. I'm gonna get a few shots of the car over here with these buildings in the background and then we're gonna move on. Uh, that way we can get to some rollers. That's what I really wanna, uh, that's what I really wanna get to. Kicking the, kicking the red into low light. 3200 is the base ISO. I'm gonna go back. I might try 47 frames per second or 48. What's 23 looking like? Right there's pretty bright. Oh, I can stop down. 
forgot about that. Ooh, look at those clouds. Fuck, I love this camera. All right, so yet again, another entire vlog on an iPhone. Uh, I just don't feel like carrying on a vloggy, but got just moved the Evo from that corner to right here, so change it up, get a few more shots of the hotels in the background, a nice Merca flag back there, uh, and the Petco lights look a little bit different from this angle as well. So we're good on this. We're gonna now move maybe some rolling shots or our next location. Uh, keep moving, it is, someone's trying to connect to my Apple Watch. It is nine, it's 9.38. So uh, we're gonna move on to our next spot or do something else now. I uh, just gotta keep today moving. Okay. Uh, crispy to dusty, crispy to dusty. It's not on, is it? Oh, I guarantee it. Uh, crispy to dusty, crispy to dusty. I'm that, crispy. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and also, I need you to say over at the end of every statement or else I won't know when you're ending. Uh, we're gonna go all the way down past the convention center to a parking lot, reconvene. I'm gonna get set up for brawlers and then we'll go back the other way. Over! Over that, over. The train they use to move Dustin's mom from place to place is going through the town nice and slow because that's the max speed with her on it. On it. The max speed with her on it. Fuck. Uh, we're waiting. He's behind us. We gotta wait for this train. We're gonna try to do a rollers past this convention center type area type thing. So we're gonna go back over the bridge. This time, what we're gonna try to do is I'm gonna shoot out the side door. We're gonna be in the same lane, far right lane. We're gonna pull all the way to the left lane once it's clear, and as we're doing so, you're gonna pull up next to us in the far right lane. So don't keep your speed, like don't stay back. You're gonna come up to kind of fill the frame, if that makes, does that make sense? Okay, so we're gonna try that a few times until we nail it, and then we're gonna loop back. And where you just kind of went the wrong way, uh, where you split off, we're gonna do that again and I'm gonna film you like splitting away from us and then we'll be good. Okay, sounds good. We'll try to get stuff if we can. We'll try to get stuff on the bridge, but all right, here we go. Dustin, left, Dustin, left, Dustin, left, Dustin, left, Dustin, left. No, we missed it. That was no, right here, right here. Good call, 
call, good call, good save. Good save, good save. Thank you. Yeah. Good fucking save. I'm it? sorry, I thought the other exit was it. Did you get it? Yes, I got it. Oh, okay. I just started panning once you said that, and it fucking worked out with him panning. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yell it. That was good. That was what I wanted. Thank you. Yep. Woo. You guys probably couldn't see any of that. We just got some fucking sick rollers, and also partially deaf in both ears because of oh, dust. Yes. Or deaf, 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 deaf. I don't know how to say it. That thing's loud. <laughs> Battery exhaust is insane. Why are you filming on your iPhone when you have this? It's just so much easier. I don't know. Plus, when I like have to carry that around in my back pocket when I'm filming, it's just like extra weight. When I'm already carrying a gimbal, I don't know. Something else to worry about. Leave me alone, all right? Okay. So Dustin told us it'd be a great idea to park here overnight. Night, Dustin's idea to park here said it'd be just fine. Oh, what does that look like? A fine. <laughs> Sick, Dustin. Did we see it for how much? It's probably. How much was this parking? Two hour parking? Oh, we were in more than two pay? hours. Thirty-five dollars. Fifty-eight. All right. Well, I added to his invoice. <laughs> Fuck, he's not getting one. Filmed Justin's car in the city. Did all that good stuff, and then went back home, went to sleep, back to all the footage. This morning, we're back uh, at Dustin's shop, and we're going to um, drive his cars up to the other shop where his open house is happening. Because his open house isn't happening at his shop; it's happening at another shop. So we need to drive his cars up there. So we're gonna drive his cars up there. And then once we get up there, I'm probably gonna film him pulling the cars in, getting the cars ready. I might do a few shots from here, getting the cars loaded up um, and whatnot, or getting in the cars. He's not gonna load them up because he doesn't have a trailer. I think later today we're gonna film the WRX at some point up near Temecula. So that's what uh, today's plan is. I don't know if this is just part of yesterday's vlog or if this is its own, I doubt it's its own, but okay, we're arrived, I'm gonna stop talking. Wait on them to come out. And then we're gonna leave and drive the BRZ. I'm gonna drive Dustin's BRZ an hour and a half up north to the show. They're all very loud cars. This should be interesting. We're giving Tiana the minivan because we're nice people. Dustin has left me behind the wheel of the BRZ. So now I gotta drive this. I'll put you guys down. I gotta, yeah, I gotta treat the right thing. Current struggle is trying to hop out and film while we're driving his car when we stop at the stops and whatnot. So that's what we're currently trying to do. And also not stall his car, which I've done five times. Sorry, Dustin. Okay, bye. So. Halfway into this drive with Dustin, guess what I realized? My Movie's back at the shop. I don't have the Movie, and we had a plan to film Dustin's WRX up here in Temecula. So those plans uh, have gone awry. Uh, so I think I'm gonna try to do something handheld, because I have three batteries for the handheld setup with me. So I, I'll try to do something handheld and uh, tripod-based as much as I can for him on a little feature of his WRX. We'll try to do that. I did something cool with an FD. I think I could do it with the WRX. It just sucks that we brought the minivan to do rollers with, and uh, it'll just be hard to do rollers without the gimbal. So I'll do the best. It'll be a cool little struggle, I guess, and a cool little challenge. I don't want it to be, but it is, because I screwed up, but what are you gonna do? All right, I'm gonna go back to Skull and Dustin's uh, BRZ. All right, so we made it to the shop where we were going to. Dustin is inside setting up his cars, and now he wants to set up his booth and everything tomorrow. That's what he's figuring out right now. I got some shots of them pulling that in, setting the tent up and whatnot. Now I'm just getting some shots of inside where he has this like entire storefront set up um, for, uh, for his drop tomorrow. For people that like, come in, buy some merch, and go check out the cars and take pictures and all that type of jazz. So he's got banners, phone cases, uh, shirts, the new shirts, new sweatshirts, uh, ooh, uh, lanyards, little shakers, because he's a little uh, buff boy. Uh, plates, sockets, cases, bunch of stuff. Really cool. Little raffle thing they're gonna... Ooh, that is a horrible sound. Uh, so I'm just grabbing some B-roll of all this to play over when he eventually probably talks about all this stuff in his uh, interview that we're gonna do. I also forgot the movie at home, so I'm a little sad, but it's okay. But in the meantime, we're waiting for uh, kind of the person who manages all his merchandise and does all of this space. I have to come back because we're gonna do a quick interview with her. In the meantime, I have the Rode TG4 Plus to the H4N on the hood here. All right, let's have this hood done. Uh, I don't think this is gonna work at all. I think it's gonna be completely blown out, but I wanna try it. Um, I have it literally at one decibel uh, input level or whatever you wanna call it. I could really go lower, but normally I'd be using like the Sennheiser lav setup I have for this and just use a wireless lav and wirelessly uh, listen to it no matter what, but I wanna try using this more often. I kinda like how this sounds. Uh, and the dead cat's much more efficient than the little dead cat on <laughs> the little dead cat on the uh, on the lab. So we gonna try this. It's 
probably gonna be way too loud because it's insanely loud to be in with. I can see it peaking from here. This is going to be a lost cause. Oh man. No. Nope. Alright. Too, sir. Oh, I thought Check this was a TV. I'm gonna. Hey guys, look, I found some goggles. <laughs> <laughs> Dustin, put them on. Put them on. <laughs> We're going to the beach. <laughs> We're going to the beach, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. <laughs>